Hey everybody, thanks so much for stopping by. Hey guys, it's Sunday morning at my house. We're going to be cooking up a country breakfast. All of your breakfast favorites outside on the Blackstone Griddle. Stay tuned. First, shred and rinse your taters several times until that water becomes clear. Strain them and then pour them out onto a clean dish towel. Wrap them up and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We want to get all that moisture out of there. That is a key to making perfect diner style hash browns, light and fluffy. Set those aside. Set your blackstone on about medium high heat and we're going to cook some biscuits. You're going to need a rack and a temperature gauge. Hit your griddle with a little bit of oil and what we want to do is play, take these biscuits and place them directly on that griddle for several minutes until the bottoms turn brown and crusty. When that happens, put them on the wire rack, cover them up for about 10 minutes. After that time, look at that. Golden brown fluffy biscuits on the griddle. Then let's take them off and we want to put these in a basket and just cover them up to keep them warm. Perfect. All right, next, hit your griddle with a little bit more oil and spread that around. Let's make some hash brown taters. Take your taters and just push them into a little circle, a single thin layer. One of the mistakes people make with their hash browns is they start tossing and turning throughout the cook. That's not going to give you a good hash brown. Season with kosher salt, fresh ground black pepper, and leave them alone. In the meantime, for about six or seven minutes, let's cook some sausage and some bacon. What is a breakfast without those two? Cook those about four or five minutes and then give them a flip or a roll. Look at that. Now you can place something on top of that bacon to keep it from curling up if you want to. And after it's done, plate those two up. Oh man, look at that. This is going to be great. Let's check on them taters. When your edges start turning brown like that and your taters start moving freely, it's time to turn. Look at that. Perfect. They stayed together. Cook that another six or seven minutes on that side and plate them up. All right, guys, give your griddle a scrape. Spread some more oil on there, and let's make some pancakes. I'm using that th bottle you can buy at the store. Shake and pour, real easy, just add water. Now, what we're looking for here is bubbles. You see those bubbles. When those bubbles start to burst like that, it's time to flip. Look at that pancake, absolutely perfect. Go about a minute more. So they look like that on that other side and to plate those up and set them aside. Perfect. All right, reduce your heat on your black stone to low. Hit it with a little bit more oil and spread that around. Let's cook some eggs. Now I'm gonna make two over easy and one over hard. Try not to break that yolk on your over easy. You see this third egg, I'm gonna intentionally break that yolk because I want that over hard. Cook them about a minute or two until those whites are done. Carefully flip so you don't break that yolk. Oh, look at that. This is going to be great. Plate your eggs up along with your hash browns, sausage, and bacon. Absolutely wonderful looking. All right, last thing, country gravy. Equal amounts of flour and oil. I'm adding water because I didn't have any milk. Bring that to a boil. Stir frequently, and when it's done, It'll thicken actually as it sets around. All right, look at that. That's just about the way I want it right there. Pour that gravy over those biscuits. Look at that. Hit it with, hit your eggs with a little salt and pepper, some warm syrup on your pancakes, a little powdered sugar on top, and enjoy. Hey guys, look at this. Perfect country breakfast all done outside on the Blackstone Griddle. Hey guys, if y'all don't have a Blackstone, man, I'll tell you what, you're really missing out. You can really have a lot of fun and you can cook just about anything. Hey, if you can cook biscuits on this thing, I guarantee you, you can cook anything on this Blackstone. Hey guys, I hope y'all give this a try if you happen to have a griddle. It's really fun to do. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my other videos. I have a lot on there. I appreciate y'all stopping by and until next time, bye-bye y'all.